Today we'll be taking a look at the new ArcVision Dashboard 2.0. The first time it launches, users are prompted to log in or create a new account. Once successfully logged in, users are greeted with a quick start guide that shows where some of the tools are located. Click Done to enter the dashboard. Dashboard 2.0 features smart content channel tabs that load according to what content and applications users have installed on their computers. Revit users will see the Revit content channel added by default. Users requiring a plugin can download installers or updates by clicking on the Plugins Software button. The license status can be viewed by clicking on the Licenses button. To perform a search, first select an RPC channel on the left. When looking for an automobile, the automobile channel should be selected. We'll search for a blue car by entering the keyword blue into the search field. Global or local can also be toggled to select where the search results are located. For this example, all of the blue cars are ready for us to download. This new version has changed the way RPC users can think about content. Content can be accessed from online or locally. ArcVision has created an icon system to identify the location and status of content. These icons can be red, blue, or yellow. Red indicates that the content is available for download. Blue indicates it is in the local user's path, and yellow indicates that a Revit restart is required for the content to become available in this application. If content is available for download, a download icon will appear when the icon is hovered over. When download is selected, a progress bar appears on the left. A history of downloads appears underneath. Recent searches are shown in the dialog above. Clicking on a recent search entry will repeat the search. Additional paths to content can be added by clicking on Preferences and selecting Configure Paths. Users can optimize the dashboard for their preferred applications by selecting a default application under the Preferences tab. This icon will expand the content window, hiding the previous view. Clicking again will return to the default view. The content window view can be displayed as a list or as thumbnails by toggling these two options. To render without a watermark, a license is required. Licenses can be purchased by clicking on the Store button. 